If I see your glasses somehow falling off your head, I'll make sure I, I grab them and keep them safe, okay? Nice and stuck on your neck, yeah? Nice and stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody been hypnotized before up here? No, sir. Also, oh, it's brand new. So just to let you know, just hypnosis, honestly, if people are expecting some euphoric experience, it's just like the air that you breathe. Everyone has a different experience of hypnosis. The best way I can describe it, sometimes you feel like you've fallen asleep, but you can hear all the suggestions. You will always know that you're at the double tree in this room. You will not be transported somewhere else. Some of you just feel like really heavy and just relax. Some of you will just feel light and floating. My top tip is this, please don't talk to anybody sitting next to you. Don't look around, don't fidget or fuss. All you have to do is listen to the sound of my voice and my voice only. It's usually an 80-20 rule, right? Not everybody can get hypnotized for whatever reason. Doesn't mean that you can't get hypnotized in the future. All right, so put your backs in the chair, put your feet firmly flat on the floor, put your hands up across your laps, just relax. What's that mean? I'm not putting anything live on anywhere, but there's a few cameras hanging around that might be doing something. <laughs> yeah. Me personally? No. You can tag me though, hashtag Incredible Hypnotist if you want to, or Richard Barker Hypnotist on Instagram. That'd be kind of cool too. So just put your backs in the chair, feet firmly flat on the floor, hands up across on your lap, stare straight ahead, just relax. Now listen, from this point forward, don't worry about whether I'm standing to the front, to the back, to the left, or to the right of you. Just worry about the sound of my voice and my voice only. You can't get stuck in hypnosis. If you don't hear the sound of my voice for five minutes or more, you will naturally emerge from hypnosis. Now as you stare straight ahead, I want you to find an object in the room that you can look at. Once you find the object, I want you to stare at it. Now it could be something on the floor, it could be something in the ceiling, it could be something at the back of the room. Once you find the object, I want you to focus on that object. Don't worry about where I'm standing. Find the object, lock your eyes on the object. I'm going to teach you how to breathe and relax and relax and breathe. Teach you how to go easily and naturally into a level of relaxation known as hypnosis. Remain perfectly still. Now in a second but not yet, when you find your object of choice, stare at it at all times. Listen, whenever your eyes are open, you'll always find that object of choice. Now in a few moments but not yet, I'm going to count to three but not before. When I do reach three, I just want you to take a deep breath in and out with me. Every time you breathe in and breathe out, you'll feel the aches, the pains, the worries and troubles of the day just simply melt away. I want you to stare at your chosen objects. In a few moments, when I count to three, just take a deep breath in and out with me. Every time you breathe in and breathe out, it's going to help you relax. One, two, three. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just relax. Don't worry about 
yesterday, today, the day before, tomorrow. Just live in the moment and just relax. Now in a second, but not yet, I'm gonna count to three again when I do reach three. I just want you to take another deep breath in and out with me. One, two, three, breathe in. And breathe out. Just relax, keep staring at your chosen object. Now in a few moments, but not yet, I'm gonna count to three just one more time when I do reach three. This time you'll simply take another deep breath in. This time when you breathe in, allow your eyes to close. And when you breathe out, allow your heavy head to rest down to your chest. Once again, I'll count to three, but not before when I do reach three. You'll take a deep breath in. This time when you breathe in, just allow your eyes to close. And when you breathe out, allow your heavy head to rest down to your chest on three. One, two, three, breathe in. Just close your eyes and breathe out. Just allow your head to rest down to your chest. Now from this point forward, keep your eyes closed. The deeper you go, the better you feel, the better you feel, the deeper you go. I want you to imagine feeling a sense of relaxation drifting from the top of your head all the way down through the tips of your toes. Allow yourself to relax in your arms, your legs, your face, and your feet. Now in a second, but not yet, I'm gonna to count to three, but not before when I do reach three. You'll simply open your eyes, you'll look at your object. As soon as you find it, your eyes will close. Every time you open and close your eyes, I want you to think of sleep. Once again, in a few moments, but not yet, I'll count to three, but not before when I do reach three. You'll open your eyes, you'll look at your object. As soon as you find it, your eyes will close. Listen, every time you open and close your eyes, I want you to think of sleep. One, two, three, open your eyes, close them all the way down, allow your heavy head to rest down to your chest, and keep your eyes closed. Now in a second, but not yet, I'm gonna count to three again when I do reach three. You'll open your eyes, look at your objects, and as you find it, your eyes will close. Every time you open and close your eyes, you'll deepen and double the relaxation. The more you relax, the better you feel. One, two, three, open them and close them all the way down, just allow your head to rest down to your chest, and keep your eyes closed. Now in a few moments, but not yet, I'll count to three just one more time when I do reach three. You'll open your eyes, you'll look at your object, as soon as you find it, your eyes will close. Every time you open and close your eyes, you'll deepen and double the relaxation. The more you relax, the better you feel. One, two, three, just close your eyes and relax, allow your heavy head to rest down to your chest, and keep your eyes closed. And I want you to focus on the top of your head and all the way down to the tips of your toes. And I want you to focus in on the soft muscles surrounding your eyes, also known as your eyelids. I want you to imagine your eyes are becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. The more you focus in on your eyes, the heavier your eyes become. I want you to lend me the use of your imagination. I want you to imagine, visualize, think and feel. It just feels like your eyes are becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. Listen, the more you think about your eyes, the heavier your eyes become. Use your imagination. I want you to imagine, visualize, think and feel. It feels like your eyes are so heavy, so lazy, and so locked shut tight. But in a few moments, I'll ask you to try and open your eyes, but you won't be able to. In fact, in a few moments, when I ask you to try and open your eyes, I want you to imagine something to be true. I want you to imagine the more you try, the more you fail, the more you fail, the more you try. Now, in a few moments, I'll ask you to try and open your eyes. Just imagine your eyes are stuck all the way down to your cheeks. Now, listen, one or two of you might be able to peek and open up your eyes, but that's not why you're here. Just let me the use of your imagination. Your lock shut tight. Sinking all the way down to your face. Try to but you can't turn it, 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 but you can't Stop trying. Think of sleep and just relax. I'm going to teach you how the mind controls the body. I'm going to teach you how the mind controls everything we think, we feel, we see, we imagine in our own subconscious minds. I want you to imagine something to be true in a few moments, but not yet. I want you to imagine every muscle in your body becomes loose and limp, almost like a child's soft toy, like a rag doll. But do in fact count to three, you'll keep your eyes closed, but I want you to imagine your whole muscle tissue, your entire body, just feels like a handful of loose rubber bands. If, when I count to three, you'll slump in your chair, some of you will roll forward in your chair, you'll feel yourself collapsing, relaxing, sinking and dissolving, all the way through your chair as if you're like a child's rag doll. Some of you will roll forward, some of you will sink through your chair with your eyes closed. When I count to three, just imagine your entire body collapses and slumps and disappears and dissolves, almost like you're a child's rag doll, like a wet dish rag. Slumping and collapsing and relaxing on three. 
One, two, three. Just relax all those muscles in your arms, your legs, your face and your feet. Now I'll come up and down the line. I'll be touching you on the left or right wrist or the left or right hand. I'll just raise your hand or raise your wrist just a couple of inches off your lap. Do not try and help me. You'll feel me touching your hand or touching your wrist. And I'll just raise it just a couple of inches off your lap. Listen, the minute I touch your hand and lift it up, I'll let go of your hand. I'll let go of your hand. It will drop back down onto your lap. The minute you feel your hand or your wrist touching onto your lap, it's immediately going to send you even deeper and further into a level of relaxation. You see, hypnosis is nothing more than relaxing. I'll touch you on the left or right hand. Don't try and help me and just imagine your hand is just like a child's soft toy, like a rag doll loose and limp with your eyes closed. Just relax for a little bit. Just like a rag doll loose and limp, the more you relax, it's relaxing. The better you feel, just relaxing all that energy, relaxing my brother, just let it go, loose and limp, just relaxing, relax. The more you relax, the better you feel, relax my friend, that's good, just like a rag doll loose and limp, I got you know. Just relaxing all that energy, relaxing, loose and limp. The more you relax, the better you feel, just relax. The better you feel, the deeper you go. I'll touch you on the left or right hand or wrist, I'll just raise it a couple of inches off the lap. The minute you feel me, touching your hand or your wrist, just relax my brother, just relax, relax, relax. It's gonna help you go even further, just relax my friend. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Just relax, all the way down like a red low loose on the unbelching. Now in a few moments, but not yet, I'm gonna count from 10 down to one with each and every number. It's going to help you relax even further and even deeper. One or two of you, you'll feel me touching you on the shoulder. If you feel me just touching you lightly on the shoulder, it's going to send you even deeper and even further. The deeper you go, the better you feel. Nine. Just relax. Eight. Just relax. Seven. the deeper you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where you have a chance to control this show. In a few moments, I'll count to three, but not before. When I do reach three, I want you to make as much noise as you possibly can as if you're in a 50,000 person long concert. Listen, it's like this. The more noise you make, the better they feel. The better they feel, the deeper they go, and the deeper they go, the better the show. If the show sucks and you don't make much noise, it's your fault. All right, here we go, get ready on three. One, two, three, make some noise. Truth becomes reality, reality becomes the truth. You just listen to each and every word I say. Listen, every word I say becomes truth. I want to take you on a journey of the mind. Everything we do is about visualization, creativity, and the subconscious mind. I want you to imagine, just with your eyes closed, that we're all going to go to the beautiful islands of the Bahamas. Now, I want you to understand, when we go to the beautiful islands of the Bahamas, right, is good. I want you to understand the company has given you a very special gift. They've given you an all-inclusive vacation. It's a five-star resort. You can drink whatever you want, you can eat whatever you want. Everything is free and that's your reward for your efforts over the last couple of years. I want you to lay back in your chair, you're in paradise on one, two, three, with your eyes closed. You're going to feel it in paradise, stretching back in the sun with your eyes closed, relaxing. Listen, on the right hand side you'll see a beautiful beach. On the left hand side you'll see the ocean, everything is nice, everything is good. You'll see everything is top dollar, everything is just to be expecting in a five star resort. As you're relaxing in the sun, I want you to imagine something that's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. You might want to thank yourself, it's reaching 95 degrees. 
It's 96 degrees. It's 98 degrees. Oh my god, it's like 100 degrees in the Bahamas. It's getting hot in here. Oh my god, it's 100 degrees. It's 96 degrees. It's 98 degrees. Oh my god, it's like 100 degrees in the Bahamas. It's getting hot in here. You might want to find yourself. It's 105. It's 110. It's 115. Oh, good lord, it is hot in here. It's 118 degrees. Listen, the temperature is rising to 125 degrees. It is hot in here. Listen, we're going to go into the shade. Some of you need 100 degrees. It is hot in here. Listen, we're going to go into the shade. Some of you need to put some sunscreen on. Put it over the sunscreen on. Put some on your arms, your legs. Put some sunscreen on your face, some on your feet. Make sure you've got that sunscreen on. Put a little bit of sunscreen on, bro. Put a little bit of sunscreen on. Your arms, your legs, and then I'll pop them all out. Put a little bit of sunscreen on. Put a little bit of sunscreen on. Put some on your arms, your legs. Put a little bit of sunscreen on your face and on your feet. Make sure you've got that sunscreen on. Put a little bit of sunscreen on, bro. Put a bit of sunscreen on. Your arms, your legs. I think I'm knocking them all out. A little bit of sunscreen on. Put some sunscreen on. Put a little bit there on your sun. Yeah, put some on your neck. Make sure you've got the sunscreen on your nose. Put a little bit of sunscreen on. Put some sunscreen on the back of your neck, bro. Put some sunscreen on. It's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Put some sunscreen on. Just on your arms, just on your legs. Put a little bit of sunscreen on. Put your arms and your legs and your face and your feet. Put a little bit of sunscreen on right there. It is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Oh my god, the temperature is rising. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go inside and sleep. Just relax, just relax and sleep, sleep and relax. Ladies and gentlemen, the first couple of routines, just so that you know, is perfectly normal. We're gonna sort out who we're keeping and who we're, we're sending back. So it's perfectly normal. These are like assessment rounds, assessment rounds. Now listen, just for hypnotized volunteers, one of the reasons why you went to the Bahamas is you guys are members of a world famous orchestra. Now listen, in a few moments, you're gonna realize under your chair is a musical instrument of your choice. You're gonna pick up the musical instrument, it's gonna be under your chair. In a few moments, when I count to three, you're gonna put it in your hand, you're gonna to begin to play that musical instrument. You're gonna realize the more you play the instrument, the better you will feel. When I count to three, you'll put it in your hand, you'll pick it up, and you'll begin to play that instrument. Listen, the more you play on three, the better you will feel. One, two, and three, reach under your chair, Go ahead and grab it, put it in your hand, get ready to play. Eyes closed, start to play. The more you play, the better you feel. The better you feel, the more you play. Go ahead and grab that instrument, put it in your hand, get ready to play. Faster. The more you play, the better you feel. Ladies and gentlemen, the more noise you make, the more they play. Keep going. Keep playing, pick it up and play. Take it and play. The more you play, the better you feel. Keep playing, pick it up and play. Faster. Keep going. The more you play, the better you feel. Keep playing. Keep playing. Keep playing, master. Don't stop playing. I'm gonna lose it. Come on here. The more you play, the better you feel. Gary, ladies and gentlemen, on three. Hey, the more you play, the better you feel. One, two, three. He's on the fence, I'm gonna leave him there this time.
your face and your feet to swim around in the small goldfish bowl, the more you swim, the better you feel. You keep your eyes closed on three. One, two, three, swim. Use your hands, your legs, your face and your feet. Use your hands, your legs, your face. Swim. Use your hands, your legs, your face and your feet. The more you swim, keep swimming. Use your hands, your legs, your face. Watch out for the sharks. There's a shark in the bowl. Hang on a second. There is a shark in the bowl. It's looking right at you. Make yourself look smaller. There is a shark in the bowl. Hang on a second. Gone. Keep swimming, use your hands, your legs, your face, and your feet. The more you swim, the better you feel. Listen, if anything touches you on the top of the head, it's goldfish food, you're going to want to eat the food. If anything touches you on the top of the head, keep swimming, it's goldfish food, you're going to want to eat the food. Eat the food, 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 eat the food. Eat the food. Anything touches on the head, it's food, eat the 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 food. Eat that food. Anything touches on the head, it's food, eat the food, eat the food. Keep swimming. Anything touches on the head, it's food, eat the food, eat the food, eat the food. Taste the food right there, eat the food, eat the food, eat the food. And they touch on the top of the head, it's food, eat food, eat the food. Take that food, eat the food. Take the food, take a deep breath in. And sleep. Just relaxing, collapsing, sinking, and dissolving. Just relaxing, my friend. Relaxing. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and just for the hit of times, volunteers, this is where I really want to thank the company right now. We have got a couple of hundred thousand dollars that we're going to give away tonight. For those that volunteered, we've got real money that we're going to give to them. And actually, what we've got is a special surprise. A week last Tuesday, I won the Florida Lottery. I won 28 million. We had a conversation with Seth. We're going to give each and every one of you a brand new sports car. Now, you're going to have a really nice super red Ferrari. But when you get in that car, I want you to sit in the driving seat. We're going to go for a ride all the way around Orlando, and eventually all the way down to Miami. Now with your eyes closed, I want you to imagine you're sitting in the driving seat on three, one, two, and three. Hey, you're sitting in the driving seat, put your seatbelt on. Do me a favor, put your seatbelt on, put the top down. Do me a favor, adjust the mirrors, adjust the chair, make sure everything's good. Put on the jams on the stereo if you want to. Now there is a button in front of you, and when you're ready, you can press that button and start this sucker up. One, two, three. <sighs> put your hands on the wheel, let's go for a ride, life is good. We are going down on a super fast charge Ferrari. Look on your right hand side, there's your friends and family. Give them away, give them away, give them away. Look on the left hand side, there's your colleagues and friends and your losers from the neighborhood. Show them what you think about it. Some people have done this a few times before. 
know, ask you why you were speeding. You better be a good reason. If it's a good reason, we're going to let you off the ticket. Worried. Why are you speeding? You're doing, you're doing 125 in a 70. Yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna pay for the ticket? Yeah. You don't care? Yeah. I'm gonna let you sleep just for us. Don't drop that ticket right there. Why are you speeding, man? Ladies and gentlemen, we've been doing this contest for the last year. 
Uh, we've been trying to find all over the world, in fact, the international gibberish, gibberish rap stars. We just came from Pennsylvania two nights ago looking for the world famous gibberish, gibberish rapper. We found him, he won for 2022 for a company I can't disclose, but he got a trophy, he's famous, and he's gonna make it all the way to Nash Vegas. He's gonna get $1,000 of money, money, and he's gonna ignite his career in entertainment and show business. And one of the volunteers up on stage is also going to do that for JBC. They're going to be crowned the 2022 International Gibberish Gibberish JBC Rap Star of 2022. It's a legend, it's a bragging right, it's an honor to introduce him to you in a few moments. Now, when I pass you the microphone, please don't throw it on the floor. You won't stand up though, you'll be rapping in a perfect language of your choice, except for English or Spanish. Ladies and gentlemen, we all look for the best of the best, the top of the heap, the cream of the crop. One, two, and three. Eyes open. All right, we're looking for the best. Bring it across. Let's go with it. If I give you the microphone, you'll be rapping in any language of your choice. Feel the energy. Feel the energy in your veins, in your legs, in your arms, in your feet. If I give you the microphone, you'll be rapping in any gibberish, gibberish language of your choice. Some of you guys are ready. Some of you guys are not. Give me one you Right here in Orlando, Florida, USA. 
is contestant number four.